Hi guys, I'm Lima and welcome to It's a Piece of Cake. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make these beautiful rainbow pastel cake pops. So firstly, we are obviously going to make our cake mixture. So here I've got a store-bought chocolate mud cake, which I got from my supermarket. And this is a really soft, moist cake and it's got the ganache on top. So you can use any moist cake um, as long as it's got some form of filling. So you've either got ganache or buttercream or something that can kind of bind all the cake together. And if your cake isn't moist and hasn't got enough ganache on it, then just add a tablespoon of ganache or a tablespoon of melted butter. And you just want to have like a more of like a soft kind of cake that you can roll out into any shape that you want so here we're just going to roll up obviously just some little round balls so once you um, have made all your cake pop balls you're going to pop it in the fridge for about 15 20 minutes just so your um, cake can firm up and then you can re-roll them that's if you want a really nice cake um, round shape I'm not going to do that part so I'm just going to use them the way they are so I'm just rolling them up and I'm just going to use them like this but if you do want that really perfect round shape then you do need to pop them in the fridge so they chilled and firmed and then you can re-roll them and you get that nice um, round shape so once I finish these I'm going to dip some melted um, compound chocolate got in a cake pop stick put it about halfway into your cake pop, remove the excess and you want to pop these in the fridge for 10 minutes to firm up. You need to make sure that chocolate and the stick is firmed into your cake ball otherwise later when you're dipping them in the chocolate they're going to separate. So mine have firmed up now and I'm going to be now dipping them into the chocolate. So here I've just got some melted compound chocolate and then all I do is just dip my cake pops in there. So the cake, now make sure your cake pops are not too cold because if your cake pops are too cold so you've got them straight out of the fridge and they're really cold then what's going to happen is they're going to crack so once you dip them into the chocolate and they firm up they're going to crack so just make sure that your cake pops are in normal, like if you touch them they're normal room temperature and then I don't pop them in the fridge so now they're sticking in a foam block and they're just going to dry out in normal room temperature which roughly takes about 10 minutes you can pop them in the fridge which would take a few minutes to firm up but I can't I don't bother with it I just leave it to dry up in normal room temperature so as you can see they firmed up now and now I'm just going to remove that excess chocolate that has dripped onto the stick so you'll always get a bit of excess chocolate that kind of drizzles down on the stick and once it's firmed up just use a knife and just scrape it all off it's just much easier than trying to get it off while it's wet because you'll just get everywhere messy so it's nice and firm and then you just get a stick and just remove all that excess chocolate that has dripped off and that's pretty much making your cake pops now it's the fun part so I've got here some gold um, luster dust or pearl shimmer gold dust whatever you they've got so many different names but in cake decorating shops you can find them they're fully eatable they're just um, powdered colored pearl shape, um, shape so you get your cake pop you rub a little bit of non-stick cooking spray onto your cake pops so you've just got a nice wet tacky surface and that's going to be our glue basically to brush on the pearl shimmer so use any pearl dust that you have I've only got gold and blue at the moment so what I like to do is whenever I'm making anything with pearl dust I like to make my own shades because um, it's a lot easier for me and it's because I've got a lot of colors in hand so here I've just got the normal pearl dust um, just the plain pearl shimmer and I've added a bit of um, pink food color powder in there and I've kind of mixed it in and then I use that to make my own shades so brushing that onto my cake pop and then that's just giving me this beautiful light pink color now these little pots of pearl shimmers do cost about roughly about $10 each so if you are going to do a rainbow um, colorful one like I have you're going to need a lot of them um, which can get quite expensive so that's why I prefer to make my own um, because I just buy one pearl dust for example one pearl pot and then I divide that and make as many colors as I want so here I got one of my pearl pot, got these little um, plastic containers, I divide the pearl in there and then I add my own colours in there. Now these are just any food colour powder that you can get, some are oil based which I use for chocolate and then I'm just adding them onto the pearls, um, pearl plain shimmer and then making my own shades of colour and it's just much cheaper and easier to do it this way and of course you can get the exact shade that you want. Now I'm only adding a little bit of powder in each pot because of the colour powder because I, don't, I want my cake pops to be quite pastel -y. so here I've added the black which is obviously going to give me silver but if I wanted a really strong black then I'd add a lot more black into there to get me a dark silver or a black so here I've added purple anyway you just you get the drill any color pow powders that you've got then here I'm spraying my cake pop massaging the little because you only add a little bit of spray and you massage it in and just as long as you've got the cake pop tacky so the um, pearl has something to stick onto and dry on 
and then you're going to brush on the colours. Now at the start, because as you can see the cake pops a bit wet because of the um, vegetable shortening or cooking spray, whatever you're going to be using, once that dries out, you, there, would, there, won't, there won't be any wet look, it'll just give you a really soft pearl shimmer look. So that's why you just use a little bit and then just brush it on, it's just so we have basically a wet surface. And as you can see, you know, some of the colours will be lighter and darker. And making your own, you can like, if you're doing an ombre kind of look, then you can make your own shades. So if you add here, I've added a bit more green to the first one that I did, which was a really light green. And then it gives you like a shade of a light green. And then you've got the dark green by just adding a bit more of the coloured powder into it. So if you're doing an ombre thing, this is a really good way of doing it, rather than buying five different shades of green, for example. So you're going to go around, and of course you can use these powders on, on um, if you're making like fondant flowers or gum paste flowers or chocolate. If you're using chocolate, you can use these powders um, on them as well, so it's perfectly fine. So here was the silver, which was the black powder that we added um, to the pearl, and that gives you a silver. And of course the more you add, the darker your shade would get. But like I said, I went for more of a lighter look. So you're just repeating that whole process and just going around and just making it. The yellow looks really cute as well. I came up with this idea when I actually did the balloon cake pops. Rather than colouring the chocolate in so many different shades and then dipping your cake pops, I thought this would actually be a much easier way of doing it. But I'd already released that video. So if you have watched that one and you want to do the balloon cake pops, I actually recommend doing it this way because you can do so many colours so much quicker because you're not actually colouring the chocolate, you're actually colouring the cake pops, which is a lot quicker than colouring your chocolate and dipping them. So and you can and you can actually get the exact shades that you want and you do get that pearl shimmer. So these would look fantastic if I had done the balloon shape and actually coloured them this way. Um, but if you watch that video you'll know what I'm talking about. So this is the orange and here it is again a purple. So again this is like a light shade of purple and then I'll show you what the darker shade of purple look like too. So you can obviously have fun with the shades of colour that you're doing. So that's the darker shade and lighter shade. So um, going to go around and it's really very 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 easy anyone can really do this you're just brushing it on there is another um, also way of doing the cake pops which I'll show you as well so this is what I call is my dry method which means that I'm only using a little bit of the non-stick cooking spray so I spray it a little bit and just massage it through and take off pretty much most of it just so I've got like a little bit of a wet surface this way here as you can see how it's almost going on a paint, that what I did is you spray it with a non-stick cooking spray but you don't take off the excess, you just leave it and then it gives you like a really wet surface. You get like a really nice easy paintable kind of texture and it's really easy to paint it through but it takes away a bit of the shimmer. So if you do it that way, I'd recommend you to do another coat. So do this, let it completely dry out and then just use the dry pearl just to go, re go over it just so you because it kind of loses its pearl if you do it this way. It doesn't look so shiny. So if you do it this way where it's really wet and easy to paint on, let it dry and then just do another coat once it's dried up. So once it's fully dry, don't use any vegetable shortening or anything on it. Just use the dry pearl dust and recoat it. That's if you want to do it this way. But you have to do it for yourself to know what works for you and which colour and which um, texture you prefer. So whether you like to do it more dry or more wet, that's a personal preference and um, you'll have to play around with it to see what you prefer. So that's pretty much um, how to make these really simple pearl, shiny, pretty rainbow um, cake pops. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did, give me a thumbs up and uh, you can subscribe to my channel for more videos. So thanks so much guys for watching and I hope you tune into my next video. Bye for now.